What's going on, everyone? Badger here. Be sure to like and sub, and let's get into this. Uh, I actually just got back from seeing Ghostbusters. Better than Afterlife. It was good. Uh, and Ernie Hudson's character has one of the better parts in the movie, including uh, his character himself having a decent future, somehow being very rich. I think I maybe I missed the part if they explain where he got all his money from, but uh, he's the one bankrolling all of the Ghostbusters. And uh, yes, nothing offensive. There was a random uh, lesbian romance between the 15-year-old and a dead... Oh, obviously, you have to be dead to be a ghost, but some ghost chick. But uh, that aside, that one just came out of left field. It wasn't offensive at well. Depending on who you are, it wasn't offensive. <laughs> Maybe they cut out uh, that scene in the Middle East. I don't know. Uh, although it was a substantial plot. <laughs> Either way, I digress. Here we have Ernie Hudson claiming, and, and I had heard this before. I love the first two movies. I had heard this before that uh, racism claims of that that's why he wasn't in as much of the first one as uh, he was later on. Uh, Ernie denies that, thankfully, and I think he's going to explain, which will be nice, because even I wonder why he wasn't in as much of the first one as he got to be in that second. And here we have in offering the shout out to bounding into comics in offering the latest counter to hollywood's incessant need to blame literally every problem on some form of bigotry ghostbusters franchise star ernie hudson says that not only does he disagree with the idea that his being black led to his reduced role in the first film but that leaping to blame anything that doesn't work in your life on racism is nothing but unproductive. Oh, well, that's based, uh, and that's a based, yes, yeah, opinion, and that's true if you are constantly blaming, let's say, white people or patriarchy or uh, straight, cis, anything. Cis is a slur, by the way. Apologies. I guess I'm a cis, so I can say it, but don't call us that. Oh, bad. The point is, that's right. If you're constantly blaming everyone for everything instead of looking at what you can do and what you can accomplish, you ain't going to get anywhere. And uh, let's continue down. For context and a quick trip down memory lane, originally, as confirmed by Ghostbusters co-creator Dan Aykroyd, who was good in this new movie, and he was he uh, was one of the main Ghostbusters in it, uh, the role of Winston Zedmore was originally intended to go to comedian Eddie Murphy. That's right. Oh, that would have been good. Uh, however. Thanks to scheduling conflicts related to his work on Beverly Hills Cop, Murphy ultimately had to decline the offer. As such, the role would eventually go to Hudson, and Hudson is very good in the role. Obviously, it would be a completely different character if Eddie Murphy had played him. Uh, but despite certain of all the Ghostbusters, I believe the Ernie Hudson character is uh, Winston is definitely the most successful. Uh, but despite the fact that the character was seemingly intended for a celebrity as big as Murphy, as fans who have seen the final cut of the film can attest, he is barely even a presence in the first Ghostbusters, having easily the least amount of screen time by far among the core team and even being noticeably absent from the film's domestic and international release posters, something now Disney would do only for China in the Middle East. Uh, and according to Hudson, this dissonance is due to the fact that at the very last second, the film's production studio, Columbia Pictures, decided to reduce his role in order to give co-star Bill Murray more screen time. And Bill loves the screen time. Uh, when I originally got the script, the character of Winston was amazing, and I thought it could be career-changing, he recalled to Entertainment Weekly in 2014. The character came in right at the very beginning of the movie and had an elaborate background. He was an Air Force major something a, dem a demolitions guy it was great uh in light of finding both the character and the potential chance for recognition to be appealing hudson said that when the ghostbusters team came in at only half my quote because they said the role was going to make my career rather than rejecting the offer he said to my agent i don't care just take it because i believe that that's what nerd wars toward told me he said nah just come on the show i'll make your career he was half right is half right. Shout out to Nerd Wars. Uh, unfortunately, despite having agreed to his reduced rate under the assumption that he would have played the original version of Zed Moore, the actor noted that the night before filming begins, however, I get this new script and it was shocking. The character was gone. Instead of coming in at the very beginning of the movie, like page eight, the character came in page 68. Oof. After the Ghostbusters were established, his elaborate background was gone, replacing by me walking in and saying, if there's a steady paycheck in it, I'll believe anything you say. So that was, bro, it sounds like exactly what the real life uh, work was. You wanted the paycheck, you got it. But yeah, that sucks that he thought it was going to be a, a much more encompassing role, which I guess it was later on. Uh, I'm panicked, H uh, Hudson elaborated. I don't sleep at night. It was like my worst nightmare is happening. The next morning, I rushed to set and plead my case. And director Ivan Reitman basically says, 
The studio felt that they had Bill Murray, so they wanted to give him more stuff to do. I go, okay, I understand that, but can I even be there when they're established? And of course, he said, no, there's nothing to do about it. It was kind of awkward, and it became sort of an elephant in the room. And it's a shame they couldn't just involve new scenes with uh, Bill working with Ernie, but, you know. Obviously, it's all in the past. I see this differently now, and I don't mean any kind of animosity or anything towards anyone, certainly not towards Ivan or the guys. He then assured the outlet. I was a single dad. We were struggling to kind of hold on and pay the rent. I still needed to do this job. 30 years later, I look back at the movie, and it works very well the way it is. I think the character works with what he has to work with, but I've always felt like, man, if I could have played the original character. Yeah. Uh, and it was a reference to this debacle that when pressed by said uh, <laughs> uh, the actor's Basically, during press, they asked again uh, if, if he thought racism played a part in that. In the shrinking of both his role in the film and his paycheck, Hudson sought to make clear he found the entire line of argument to be entirely reductive. You know, And here we go. Here's the meat. Sorry. You know, being a person of African descent anywhere in the world, we're all just learning how to live together and get along together and realize that we're all connected, said Hudson. And it's very tempting sometimes to blame anything that doesn't work in your life on racism. But there are a lot of things that play into it. It's not quite that simple. We can say it's a racial thing, but I think if Eddie Murphy had played the role I played, he would have played, he would have been paid very well, he further agreed. I think studios are in the business of making, in other words, it's just about the fact that Eddie Murphy, Bill, uh, yeah, Eddie Murphy, uh, Bill Murray, they're bigger names. They were just bigger names at the time. Uh, and so they went with them. Yeah, I think studios in the business of making money and they pay what they feel they have to. And that really is the rub of it. He was very good in this one. Like I said, he, him and and I I saw, shout out uh, Beardo, who said uh, Bill Murray phoned it in. No, he didn't. Bill Murray was Bill Murray. He, he, was, he was great. He played the character. Dan Aykroyd, at, at this point, is just playing himself into the occult and all that. And I'm fine with it. I love, I realize now, they're very similar characters. But uh, I, I enjoyed that. I guess it's turned into a pseudo Ghostbusters review, but I enjoyed it for what it was. I guess it's a six out of 10, which these days ain't bad. Um, I guess it's worth one watch, but you could probably wait for streaming. Other than that, congratulations. I'm glad. It's nice to see strong, black, successful man uh, not blame racism for everything. And that's a good message that, I, you know, hey, sometimes things just don't work out for a very litany of reasons. Most of them, at least in this case, just seem to be studio greed and money. And they went with the the bigger names, but you know, it is nice to see it. Let me know what you think of this. Let me know if you actually went and saw, uh, can't even remember the damn name, Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. Um, like I said, yeah, it was all right. It, uh, there was no offensive characters. Patton Oswald wasn't that annoying. Uh, and that's about it. That's a bit. So let me know what you think of this. Make sure to like, share, and sub. If you've done that, thank you. If you're going to do that, thank you. And what? Well, bye.